In this video, we'll be asking the question, is the CAD a problem? In terms of the syllabus, we're still dealing with the balance of payments. So, is the CAD a problem? Well, Australia has a persistent current account deficit. But is this a bad thing? Look, there are some negative uh, effects of maintaining a CAD, which we're going to look at. But it also reflects confidence in the Australian economy. First, let's look at the negative. When a country has a current account deficit, it will increase the country's foreign liabilities. So an ongoing CAD means there is financial inflow on the CAFA. In fact, there is a current, sorry, in fact, there is a capital and financial account surplus. So this surplus or inflow of capital is in the form of foreign debt and foreign equity. So this increases the amount of funds Australia owes to the rest of the world relative to the amount of money the rest of the world owes to Australia. So a CAD requires a CAFA surplus, which means Australia is increasing its foreign liabilities. The second negative impact relates to the previous point that a current account deficit increases Australia's servicing costs. As foreign liabilities increase, as the capital inflows increase, this will increase the servicing costs which come from the current account. So foreign debt must be serviced with interest payments. Foreign equity must be serviced with profits and dividends. And this will further increase the current account deficit. So on this point, a current account deficit creates future current account deficits. The third negative impact is that a CAD can act as a constraint or can slow down future economic growth. So high economic growth involves increased financial outflows. What do I mean? Think about the money we are spending on imports. It will increase when the domestic economy grows. So to reduce the size of the CAD, the government may need to slow the economy to reduce demand for imports because imports are an outflow of money. So then we get this concept of the balance of payments constraint. This is where the size of the CAD requires the government to slow the economy to stop the CAD growing further. In fact, the state of the balance of payments, the current account deficit, acts as a roadblock on future growth. Here's the fourth negative effect of a current account deficit. This is a sudden loss of international confidence. Think about it this way. If the CAD becomes too large, um, international investors may start to worry that Australia can't cover the costs of the outflows of primary income from the current account. So instead, foreign investors take away their money. They're terrified that they're not going to get uh, the repayments on their capital inflows. So this would shrink capital inflows into a country like Australia, leave a country unable to fill that savings investment gap and fund vital projects. So is there anything good about a current account deficit? The answer is yes. A current account deficit demonstrates that an economy is attracting capital into the country. For example, a CAD requires a CAFA surplus. A CAFA surplus demonstrates that an economy can attract money, can attract foreign debt and foreign investment, both good things. The economy can use this capital inflow to fund vital investment projects and to do things that require the money that is not present in the domestic economy. So the presence of a CAD shows that the economy is an attractive investment destination. So in terms of these points, we can see that there are a number of negative elements about the CAD, but overall, the current account deficit shows that an economy can run a CAFA surplus and attract capital inflow in the form of foreign debt and foreign equity that can be used to grow the economy.